Hello Virgo. Thank you for coming to Echo Catch Your Tarot. This is going to be a reading for July 6th through July 12th. Thank you, 2020. Thank you to all my subscribers, all the comments, all the views, all the shares. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. I'm happy with how my channel has grown. So remember the birth chart challenge for the month of July was for you to find the trines in your birth chart, the little triangles. Those are supposed to equal luck in this life, and they're supposed to be rewards from past life. So if you Google what a trine means, it's kind of easier to read, and you might have to read it a couple times, and for me to explain it, you wouldn't understand it all probably. And so remember there's going to be a full moon which will come out right before this reading. So time is fluid too. When you come across the videos and they have a date on them, that's just when I put them out. But when you come across them, is time is fluid. So time, you know, it just runs together. Whenever these pertain to you is when you'll come across them, if that's how it works. So there's no way this can connect to everybody. I just read the cards and you decide if they apply to you or your situation. Feel free to Vice versa, the masculine feminine energies where they apply. Right, I'm almost done here. So I shuffle all the cards before I turn the camera on. I just give them one more shuffle. Cut them one more time. Whoa. Oh, I tried to do this. I should put little markers, I guess, and then I'll kind of know how far over to go. Because it wouldn't take so long if I, I'm a little more aware of the space. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to start with the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck for you, and I already shuffled and cut those. I guess I'll do it one more time, just to do it. Just to be so lucky. Now this is a big deck, but I love shuffling them. I do. Okay, now I'm going to pull Whispers of the Ocean Oracle card for you. And your first one, Virgo, is 12, Replacing What Was Lost, number 12. You now have the opportunity to rejuvenate and start anew. Create with a new perspective or outlook. This card may also indicate abundance is on the horizon. And this talks about the five elements of life, too. So replacing what was lost, that's pretty important. I'm going to look at this again just to make sure. So it just talks about you're blessed with greater strength and abundance than you're aware of. You're going to get new enthusiasm and new energy. And be willing to keep moving forward with purpose. And it just says starfish have amazing regenerative properties. Seeing a starfish reminds you that you are blessed with great strength and abundance, which is what it said. So you have strength and abundance, um, and you're going to be able to replace something that was lost. So the next one for you is 40, Rediscover Your Zeal. Pay attention to the passion you are feeling for discovery, learning, exploration, spirituality, travel, your work, or your relationship. Passion and desire go together, especially as inspiration. And passion is what I get off the color red. And yellow is sunshine and abundance. So I feel like a lot of you have to figure out what you, what gives you a reason to get up and go to work every day. A lot of you have to, you're a people person. So a lot of you might have a lot of animals to take care of. So that's your inspiration for getting up and going to work. Some of you have children. Some of you have a husband that depends on you that may be um, disabled. So there's a lot of reasons that people need, especially Virgos, a reason to go to work. They like to work and they like to be prosperous and help people, but I feel like a lot of you, something's happened to where you've lost your, your passion. So I don't know if you're working the wrong job or the job you're working has just gotten old and too repetitious for you, but you're getting ready 
to discover something that gives you a big like energy boost and push in life is what I'm picking up because that is energy in your zeal. Beautiful Virgo. Wow, 30, surrounded by prosperity. Your attention is being drawn to the infinite nature of reality. That which exists outside the known is beyond measure. And I believe this is the yellow... No, this is the butterfly fish, I think. Let me see. No, it's the yellow tang. That's what I was going to say. So, these are just like little sunshines. They represent hidden treasures around every corner in a wide variety. Um, opportunity, your solar plexus is open, your personal power. And abundance can show up in many ways. This is really powerful. I wonder what's coming into a lot of you Virgos. You, I think you've been manifesting. Whatever you've been manifesting is getting ready to come to you. Is what I'm getting. Beautiful. So now I'm switching to the... Mystical Cats Tarot Deck. And you have Good Kitty. This is good karma coming to you, Virgo. You've put good, positive energy out in the, into the universe, and they're bringing it back to you. So, Sky, Tom is somebody being rude to you. Somebody in your life is just not for your highest good. They're at a lower energy is basically what that says to me. Somebody's lashing out at you for something. Jealousy? I'm not sure. So Ace of Fire could be passion or it could be somebody stopping something. But it's usually passion. So Three of Fire is you asking the universe why something is going the way it's going. You're confused on why you're still struggling so much and why you haven't accomplished what you want. Sea Queen is somebody who's set in there. They're very balanced emotionally. Their life is organized. They plan everything out. That's probably you, Virgo. Hmm. So then you have Love and Abundance, Ace of Earth. So you have Ace of Fire, Ace of Earth. That's good. Wow, beautiful. So then you have Ace of Sea. Oh my gosh, Virgo, you have three of the Aces right here. And you have Prosperity, replacing what was lost. And then you have Sea Kitten. Sea Kitten is somebody coming in possibly to apologize. Somebody to say they're sorry about something. And then you have the Sun. Oh my gosh, Virgo. So this could be um, Leo placement to me. This is representative Leo to me. So some of you could be cuspers. I always say that when this card comes up in each other's readings. Born on the day changes from Leo to Virgo. Beautiful. So look at down here. Passion, love and abundance, success, happiness, warmth, abundance, appear, um, good karma. Ask the universe why things are going the way they are. True love. And then somebody who is a lower energy, you balancing it out and somebody saying they're sorry. So I don't know if this person who treated you bad possibly and you balanced out your emotions and then they're coming back and saying sorry and you could be a little angry about it is what I'm getting. So seven of C is there something right in front of your face that you're denying. You're not paying attention to. Demon cat could be a Capricorn around you. The upright uh, triangle could be an angry, toxic energy. It could be both and a Capricorn. Then there is six of Earth. Six of Earth is generosity. So I don't know if a Capricorn, so let me see this. You have denial of Capricorn. Toxic energy and generosity. So that kind of confuses me a little as to what is going on there. So the full card basically is what this is, meaning you're on your way to happiness and abundance. Again, a lot of suns in this reading for you. Virgo. Wow. So I'm going to switch to the Chakra Wisdom deck for you. And you have Ace of Swords. So you're going to be cutting something out. 
you're going to be finishing something that isn't for your highest good. So Ten of Wands, you're going to be very happy when you do that. You're going to move into happiness. More abundance and opportunity is going to come into you when you get rid of whatever affects your identity. So Ten of Swords, as you're done with something, something ended, you feel like it went on too long. Two of Swords is being flexible and compromising. So I feel like what ended is you were so flexible and compromising and you tried to be so happy and you like bent over backwards and like hurt your happiness trying to make something work is what I'm picking up. So four of coins, now you've moved into a place of blocking your heart and your love. You're kind of pulling your heart and your love close to you. You're not going to just give it away as easily as you did before. So the devil, wow, it came up twice. Virgo. So this could be Capricorn around you. This could be toxic negative energy. I feel like here's a relationship. Somebody gave 100% of love. Somebody gave nothing. They put nothing into the relationship. So some of you Virgos in a relationship where you give everything and the other person gives nothing. They just ask you all the time for stuff. To pay for stuff or to drive or stuff like that. I do feel that. So the High Priestess. <laughs> Good for you Virgo. So the High Priestess is aware of what's going on and I feel like you really like this person. This is you Virgo and you're like giving this person chances but if they're not going to meet you halfway in a relationship you're not going to go past your little mark of the halfway unless they give you some sort of commitment which I don't feel there is one. So somebody is forcing you to play their hand and then they're going to come back and say, oh, oh, Virgo did this, so I didn't make enough money or whatever. No, it had nothing to do. That's always a card. It seems like people seem to throw down when a relationship ends. And Virgos don't choose people for money. That's not where their heart is at. Um, so, yeah, you're going to be done with this. And this person, I feel, is going to almost try to blame you that you walked away. But you tried. According to these cards I'm seeing right here, you gave 100% and this person looked like they gave 10 or 20%. The minimal they gave to this relationship, Virgo. So, Knight of Cups. It looks like somebody might be coming in to say they're sorry. And saying they love you. After they only gave 10% or 20%. Hmm. And then you have Eight of Coins. So you're planning and organizing and planning your future. And you're by yourself there in case you haven't noticed, Virgo. I notice. So what does that you think that means? Let's keep going and see. Temperance. So I feel like when the cups have water, liquid attaching to them, and there's the feathers in the card, this is temperance. I feel like you were connected in a past life for your karmics, which means you're here to teach each other lessons and relationships. If it's a soulmate, I think it is, it's kind of hard. The relationship will never be easy. It'll always be hard. You're here, or usually, not always, but most of the time it is until you come together, and you're supposed to be coming together to work for the higher good of the world, but it just seems, like, difficult. I don't know. Like some of the partners are down here to play instead of be serious and take their what they're down here to do. But anyway, so now we have Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, uh, to me, is karma. Somebody getting made to feel like they made somebody else feel. That's weird. I just talked about this. So, I do feel like it was a karmic relationship, Virgo. Somebody, and it could have been a Capricorn you recently were with. Not a few years ago, like recently, I feel like, within the last six months. Um, it was karmic. They were supposed to teach you something and you were supposed to teach them something. So if you saw a lot of mirroring in the relationship where you would get angry and not talk and then they would get angry and not talk or you would not wash the dishes because you were being stubborn and then they're going to follow you and not wash the dishes because they were on to be stubborn too. It's that sort of relationship is usually karmic. They're supposed to teach you something. And sometimes you can make it work, but usually you can't. You just learn from each other and separate and move on. But you can Google that to learn about it too if you're interested. 
So Princess of Coins is somebody who's um, loyal, offering kindness, they're offering help, and it's genuine. I feel like that's you again, Virgo. I feel like, again, this is coming out, the same thing in this deck over here is coming out again in this deck in the relationship thing. Just showing you the same thing in a different deck. That It's almost the same. That is so crazy. So the karma one is here. Um, the And then we have the connection, which would be, could possibly be here. Yeah, there's a lot of connection there. So I'm going to switch to the Oracle of E cards for you. And you have Entangled 13. So something you're entangled in came full circle, I feel like. That you figured out why it was the way it is, and that would explain a karmic relationship as well. So baggage be gone again, something came full circle, and you are releasing it. You don't want the baggage. Abracadabra is you just one day, I feel like, something clicks and you are aware of the dynamics of a relationship that you did not see before. So I feel like you're in denial and then one day it's like, oh, oh, now I get it. I totally get what the, what I was denying. I understand. Solar power, beautiful. Again, something came full circle and you're so shining so bright. Your light right now, you're shining brighter than the sun is what the book says about this card. That's beautiful. You're shining bright, Virgo. Time to fly. 44, double number. Take note of that. If you want to learn about numbers, it's good to take notes of them and Google them after and see the vibration level and all that stuff of numbers you can teach yourself. This is going from the dark into the light, and the universe destiny is pushing you. I feel like you learned what you needed to learn, and you're moving on. I do feel like you were in a karmic relationship, and it's time to go. And GPS. Wow, wow, wow. So again, you're where you're supposed to be. Everything went the way it was supposed to is what this says to me, Virgo. Global positioning system. So you are where you're supposed to be. That is just powerful. That really is. You know, I think of so much stuff to name the title after when I'm doing the reading. And then afterwards, for some reason, you forget a lot of it because they all run together and get confused and I try I don't have any patience I want to make the title really fast and upload it's silly okay let me I'm gonna start with the soul's journey lesson cards for you now and you have acceptance I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change excuse me and this is beautiful that's gonna help you a lot Virgo it is it really is gonna help you so this person somehow helped you learn you can't change something no matter how much you love somebody, you could not change them. Fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So this is so true. We make decisions based on fear or love. Fear makes us run away. Love makes us stay and conquer. So I feel like some of you Virgos who are running from love and were fearful of it are finally ready to accept love. You're not so fearful of it anymore. And you're like, okay, all right, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to settle down. I think I understand what this is all about. I think I can do it. That's what I'm getting. So now I'm switching to the Fantasy Cats Oracle cards for you. And you have 11 watching. Somebody's watching you, Virgo, or you're watching somebody. I feel like somebody's watching you because, like you say, Virgos just are busy. They don't usually watch people. It's not in their psyche. So traveling, number 10. So 11 and 10. So you could be traveling in your dreams, getting downgraded, traveling to your loved ones and communicating in the third realm or the fifth realm um, between heaven and earth, basically. You could be doing a lot of stuff exploring. That's beautiful. So now I'm going to switch to the angel and ancestors, Virgo. Peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. So you always want to be peace around you. So sometimes you accept things that you know you shouldn't accept, but you want to keep the other people happy, so you do it anyway. And this is saying, let go of that. You're a peacekeeper. 
you know it, a lot of people know it, just let go of not putting yourself first. And I feel like you're being guided with the buffalo. Let me look at this really fast. How much time do I have? Okay, so peacekeeper. The peacekeeper is a wise Native American woman who has influenced the white buffalo woman. You may be feeling on edge due to a stressful situation. There's a warrior within you that wants to rise up, prove your point, and get the truth across. But you're being reminded by ancestor wisdom that truth will always be revealed in the end. So it just talks about don't try and prove a point. I know Virgos really like to be um, noticed for the stuff they're good and smart at. So don't try and prove a point in a situation is basically what that is saying. Just let it go. Let it go for some reason. And the next one is Magic Guardian. Unlock the magic within. Oh, this is so beautiful. So let me find this one too. Wow, this is such a good reading. Okay, I'm going to find her. She's Guardian, so, okay, she's back here. Here she is. Stop looking outside yourself and recognize that you have incredible power within. Magic with a K is the energy of the universe that allows you to manifest and create through the direction and power of your will. It changes according to your frequency. The Magic Guardian is representation of the Angel of Magic who helps you direct your will to bring something into creation. She is the angel who swirls around shamans and wise ones when they are calling on the energy of magic to help them manifest something that will be healing and supportive of their path. She is the angel of all magic and is directed for the highest good of whoever is working with it. You are the magic. You are the answer. You have it all within you. Your ability to dedicate to a goal and make it happen is a real gift. And I, I, you Virgos are very good at following everything to a T and accomplishing so much. Totally. Alright, now I believe I'm going to do your fortune cookie. We're almost done. This went by pretty fast. So your fortune is... Okay, here it is. So it says, The best view comes after the hardest climb. Isn't that true? The best view comes after the hardest climb. So thank you so much, Virgo Cross Watchers. I hope this helps you out a lot. This is real powerful reading. You're coming into a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness. It looks like a true love. Um, you've learned a lot. You've grown wiser. And you've left what wasn't good for you behind. Good for you. Thank you so much, Virgo. Bless you.